later in this video. One little peck on the cheek. Okay. What in the... Wait, why can't I get close to you? Everybody so gather it's... round. I have an important announcement to make. Wait, what is it? Is there something wrong? Today marks the beginning of the 50th annual Ordon Prep Hide and Seek Championship. Hide and Seek? I love Hide and Seek! Oh, this is no ordinary hide and seek championship. Now, to mark the 50th anniversary, the judges, King Adam and Queen Belle, have decided to make it even harder this year. What? They did? How so, Fairy Godmother? Well, this year, we will make the game even more harder by making it a hiding in plain sight challenge. What? No way! This is going to be so much fun! Hey, I think Uma and I are going to dominate this hiding in plain sight competition. Wait, sorry to play the new girl card, but how do we play this game exactly? Celia, it's so fun. It's like a normal game of hide and seek, but this year we can't hide underneath anything or in closets or anything. Yeah, it's like hiding in plain sight where you hide where people can see you but not really see you, you know what I mean? Ah, I get it. This is going to be so much fun. All right, all right. Now, who will volunteer to be the team captain? Hmm? I will. Oh, thank you, Mal. All right. Any other volunteers to... Oh, so you know that I'm a natural-born leader. Some might call me the queen of mean. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, no one calls you that. I said we make this challenge more interesting. Whoever's team captain wins the hiding in plain sight challenge gets to go to the winter ball with Ben. <gasps> Do I have a say in this? Uh-uh, no way, Audrey. What? Are you scared my team is gonna win? Audrey, when are you going to learn? Nobody ships you two. Yeah, Mal and Ben are like relationship goals, duh. Duh. Ben and Audrey, that's more like a boat wreck. <laughs> Seriously. Fine, I'm not scared. Uh what if I said I was? Don't you worry, Benny Boo. I already got my winter ball outfit picked out. All right. Celia, Uma, and Harry, you are on Audrey's team. And Evie, Ben, and Dizzy, you are on Mal's team. Whichever team can find the members of the other team the quickest shall win the challenge. Audrey, your team shall hide first and the others can wait in the library. On your mark, get set, go! Come on, I know where we can hide. Dizzy and I were talking and we cannot believe that you would agree to this whole winter ball drama, Mal. Seriously, I don't want to go to the dance with Audrey. You guys, it's okay. I am confident that we are going to win this. Okay, we know every nook and cranny of this school. Well, most of us, I haven't been at Ardon that long. And besides, it's hiding in plain sight. I mean, don't you think it's gonna be a little difficult? Yeah, sure, but we just have to be one step ahead. Come in close, you guys, I have an idea. Ah, yes, here we are. Um, ladies, why are we in the wand room? Can't you get in trouble by being in here? I read that in the student handbook. Yeah, but more importantly, shouldn't we be focused on hiding? They're gonna be released to start looking for us any minute. You guys worry too much. I have the perfect plan. Uh-oh, seen that face before. Worn it on my face many times. She's plotting, isn't she? Plotting? No. Winning? Yes. I'm confused. Oh, Celia, aren't you a villain, kid? Come on, we take the wand, we make ourselves invisible, and then we're free to walk around and do whatever we want. Uh-oh, I, I don't know if... What? It's hiding in plain sight, isn't it? She's technically kind of right. Oh, and how do you plan on getting the wand out? Well, I might have sort of kind of borrowed Mal's magic spell book. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you sure you didn't grow up on the aisle? <clears throat> magic spell book that I stole. Put me in complete control. Remove the wand from its case. Then return it quickly without a trace. Like that's going to work. <laughs> you were saying? 
I was saying it's totally going to work. Yeah, right? Now to make us hide in plain sight. Yikes, I'm nervous. I've never been invisible before. Ooh, this is gonna be so much fun. Here we go. Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, we are free to start looking for the other team. All right, so how do you want to approach this? Shall we look together or split up? Oh yeah, that's a good plan, Evie. We should all split up, that way we can cover more ground. Yeah, great thinking, everyone. Okay, so Ben and I will head to Night Hall, mm -hmm. and Evie and Dizzy, you guys go to the dorms. Got it. Ready, Evie? Ready, let's do this. Okay, let's go. <sighs> I'm sleepy, Uma. Snap out of it, <sighs> Harry. I told you not to stay up all night playing Fortnite. I can't help it. I'm hooked. <laughs> Get it? Hooked. Shh, Harry. That must be Mel's team. I hear the footsteps. We have to hide. Uh, hello, Uma. We're invisible. Fine. Then just be quiet. Any sign of them yet, Diz? Well, I don't see anything yet, but look really closely. They could be anywhere, blending in, hiding in plain sight. Truth. Shoo! <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you! I didn't sneeze, Evie. And I didn't sneeze either. That must mean they're in here hiding somewhere. Look closer. Okay. Mal, I was thinking they could be hiding, like dressed up in full armor like one of the knights. Yeah, I was I was thinking that too, but you know how heavy all that armor is? Audrey couldn't lift it over her head. Mm. I... Look, it's Ben and Mal. Should we hide? You sure they can't see us? Positive. Come on, let's go mess with them. What? <sighs> well, I don't see them anywhere in here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We checked every single suit of armor. <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. Uh, Audrey, what are you going to do? Audrey! Where do you think we should look next? Um, how about the cafeteria? Ow! Ben! Mal, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? I mean, I'm sure you're trying to be funny or whatever, but jeez. Mal, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry if something happened, but it certainly wasn't me. Okay, um, fine. Let's just keep looking, okay? Okay, I'm gonna text Evie and Diz to meet us in the cafeteria. Mel, you must not be mad at me anymore. What? Oh, how? How did you get over here so quick? What? Ben, what are you talking about? I've been here the whole time while you're texting. Huh? But... But what? I, I could have sworn you kissed my cheek, but on this side. Okay, now I know you're just trying to be funny. <laughs> I swear it really happened. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you just kissed Ben. You're gonna get us caught. Oh, relax. I'm just having a little fun. <sighs> How much longer do we have to look for them? I'm ready for lunch. I know, seriously. I don't think in the history of me being here we've ever looked for another team this long. <gasps> oh, ladies. How is the challenge going? Have you located any of the members of the other team? No. No? Yeah, can you believe it? I mean, we have been looking high and low forever, and no Team Audrey. My, my. This must be a new school record for the longest hiding. Hey, Uma. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Looks like all of those things just fell down out of nowhere. That's so strange because it's not even windy out here or anything. Yeah, you know what else was strange? That mystery sneeze from earlier. Mystery sneeze? Hmm. <gasps> Ladies, come with me. I'd like to show you something in my office. Okay, lead the way, FG. Ben, I swear I didn't kiss you. I mean, I, I would, but I didn't in the instance that you said that I did. <laughs> that is so strange. Well... There's no time like the present. Ben, we have to look for the other team. One little peck on the cheek. Okay. Uh -oh. 
what in the... Wait, why can't we get close to you? Something is seriously going on! Ladies, look! OMG, that's Audrey's team! In the wand room? I thought there might be some foul play in the works. Hey, that's Mal's spellbook! Whoa, where'd they go? Well, it looks like Audrey's team has used my wand to make themselves invisible. Oh. Whoa, is that allowed? Oh, most certainly not! Wow, I cannot believe this! Should we call Mal and Ben? Yes, but first, I have an idea. Ooh, where did they go? I want to win this game once and for all! Well, isn't the time up already? It should be. They said to meet back in the theater if we weren't found before. Well, technically we still have five minutes before our round of hiding is up. Um, you guys? Why are the curtains on the stage moving on their own? What is happening? Um, yeah, there's no wind. How are those curtains moving by themselves? Aha! We found you! Look who's hiding in plain sight now. What? But how? We're invisible! Not anymore! Fairy Godmother helped you! What? You cheated! No, Audrey, technically your team cheated. We just happened to borrow my friend Harry's invisibility cloaks. Yep, on loan from Hogwarts Academy. Well, regardless, we still won, so that means I get to go to the Winter Ball with Ben. Oh, contraire, my friend. The Hiding in Plays and Sight challenge clearly states no magic being used in the rules. <clears throat> I hereby announce that this year's winning team by disqualification is Team Mal. Woo! Yeah! 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 No hey. fair! I knew we shouldn't have listened to Audrey. Hey, that's not fair! I demand a rematch! What do you guys think? Should there be a hiding in plain sight rematch? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, and make sure you guys subscribe. And turn on your bell notifications so you hear all about our new videos. Yeah, and hit the like button if you like Descendants. Bye! Bye! <sighs> I just love the smell of Isle of the Lost in the morning, don't you? Um, not really. I'm just saying that there's something about being back here that feels like home. No thank you. Ooh, who is it, Mal? Hades. Your dad? What does he want? Who knows? He probably just wants to use me to get off the aisle again. Oh, I know the feeling. I mean, it's the same way with my mom, you know? Sometimes friends are just more trustworthy than family, especially when your parents are villains. Isn't that the truth? I just wish- What's your wish, darling? Dad, what are you doing here? Hey, Mr. Hades. Hey, Evie. Looking fashionable as always. Love the blue. <laughs> what? No hug for your dear old dad? What do you want? Well, you didn't answer my call. Seriously, I know you're up to something. <laughs> up to something? Can't I just check in on my daughter from time to time? Hey girls, I got the rest of the fabrics and oh, Hi Hades, <laughs> how's it going? Hey Dizzy Diz, what you got there? Oh, I'm just gathering up all my fabrics because Oridon's having a school fashion show. The rules state that everybody must make their own outfit. And so Evie's teaching me how to sew and... Okay, well, um, bye Mr. Hades, go Dizzy, go. Hi, bye! Bye! See you later, girls. <laughs> oh, Mal, have I taught you nothing? <laughs> Should know better than to bring a spell book to the Isle of the Lost. It could fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> I've been so preoccupied with planning this big surprise that I can't find it! Ah! So, Dizzy, I was thinking for the fashion show that your dress design should be like... Rainbow Steampunk! It would be so cute! What do you think? Love it. <gasps> okay, good. And then, Mal, I was thinking for your dress design that we should go for a whole, like, dragon chic thing. We'll start with purple on top and then fade into lime green and then... Mal, hello, Earth to Mal. What's gotten into you today? 
I'm sorry you guys, it's just that besides running into my dad, which always puts me in like a weirdish mood, Ben won't text me back. Really? Hmm, that's strange. That doesn't really seem like Ben. I know, it's just that I'm kind of worried. You don't think he wants to break up with me, do you? What? No, no way. Believe me when I say this, when I see the way Ben looks at you, there is no possible way, okay? Okay, you're right. Maybe I'm just overthinking this whole thing. Thanks, you guys. Don't even sweat it. I mean, I wouldn't put my blind faith in him either if I were you. I mean, we were all raised by villains. It makes sense that we'd have a tough time trusting people. Totes. Evie, tell me again how you think I should design my dress for the fashion show. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Okay, first I was thinking dragon chic, and then it could have like lace on the bottom details, maybe even some like fire breathing details at the bottom. Hey, Ben, you look nice today. Hey, Audrey, thanks. Aren't you gonna say that I look nice too? <sighs> Listen, Audrey, not really the time. I'm kind of late for something. Listen, I was thinking that- <laughs> There it is. Okay, can we chat later? I've got to go. Fine. Don't worry though. I'll get you to notice me soon, Benny Boo. And basically, that's your fashion design- OMG, he finally texted me! Ben did? Well, what did he say? Why was he ignoring you? I don't know. Well, who's texting you now, Evie? Oh, um, it's, it's just my mom. Mm-hmm. I thought your mom didn't have a cell phone. Oh, um, she, she didn't. But now she does. And now she likes to call and text me a lot. So, um, I'm just gonna go step outside and call her back. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah! Is it just me or is Evie acting weird? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's just like stressed about the fashion show. Anyway, what did Ben say? He said to meet him in the quad at two. Ooh, what for? I don't know. <gasps> hey, I came as quickly as I could. Where have you been? I lost my phone and then I ran into Audrey. It's been a morning. Oh man, well, Mal's been totally stressing it. She thinks you're gonna break up with her, so I had to like fib and say that I was going to call my mom. What? She thinks I'm gonna break up with her far from? What are those two talking about? I was gonna ask Mal to marry me. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you guys! <laughs> yeah, I text her asking her to meet me in the quad. Oh in less than an hour. I am so excited! Evie, you can't say anything. <gasps> My lips are sealed! <laughs> what? My Ben is gonna ask Mal, a villain, to marry him? <sighs> well, if it's a villain he wants, then it's a villain he's gonna marry. So, what do you think? This trim or this trim? Um, I don't know. Oh, ask Evie, she's the expert. Where have you been? Oh, um, I was talking to my mom. She was trying out a new apple pie recipe that she wanted to discuss with me. So we're just trying to finalize our designs for the fashion show. Yeah, tell me about it. Looks like we'll be pulling an all-nighter sewing sesh. Mal, are you really gonna wear that outfit to go meet Ben? Yes. And how did you know I was gonna go meet Ben? Oh, um, I actually overheard you in the hallway when I was talking to my mom about apple pie. But, uh, anyway, about your outfit, I just think that that one outfit in your closet is so super cute and it really brings out the, like, glow in your eyes, so maybe you should wear that when you see Ben. Wait, Evie, that one outfit is, like, a super fancy dress. Just uh, trust your best friend and wear that outfit when you see him. This is the Isle of the Lost? Where do I go? Oh, this way. Hello? Hello? Boo. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Are you Hades? Lord of Darkness? Well, who's asking? Audrey. I'm Audrey, I go to... Or a Dawn Prep. Huh. You don't say. Are you related to Sleeping Beauty? Yes. You know, I once went on a date with her. Cool story. 
Um, listen, I'm actually here because I need your help. Go on, I'm listening. Listen, I need you to transform me into a villain. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You want me to magically turn you into a villain. Nice idea. But we don't have any magical powers here on the Alva Lost. And you should know that, because your people of Ordon made sure of that. Well, I'm not like other people at Ordon. And besides, you're Hades. Can't you figure out some magical loophole or something? Wait, didn't you just come in here and magically scare me? Hmm. Smart girl. You pay attention, and I like that. Well, if you must know, I may have stumbled across a little magic spellbook. By accident, of course. I need you to turn me into a villain. Oh, and why must I do that? Well, I need to make a certain prince, I mean, king, fall in love with me. That way I can become the queen of Ardon. Ooh, you really are the queen of me. <laughs> so what's in it for me? Oh. oh! Mal, there you are. Hey, Ben. Wow, you look so nice. Oh, thanks, it's just something Evie helped me throw together. Oh, hey, you guys. Hi, hey, Ben. <laughs> Great seeing you both, or Ben, for the first time today. Right. Hey, you two. What are they up to? What are you doing? Mal, would you make me the happiest guy and marry me? So are you going to help me or not? Well, let me get this straight. If I turn you into the Queen of Mean and help you get the crown, then you're going to help me get off the Isle of the Lost? That's the plan. Look, if I become queen, then I'll make sure that you never get stuck on the Isle of the Lost ever again. So you'll turn me into a villain. Yes, I will. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so happy for you both! Yeah, my friend is going to be the future Queen of Horda! Ah, I know, who would have thought, right? Thanks for all your help in planning this, Evie. You were in on this? Hello, of course! I should have known you weren't talking to your mom about apple pies. Let's see, ah, here we go. Villainous magic, come into play. Turn her into the Queen of Mean as of... Today. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so rotten. 